Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about CPAC and uh, how it is being covered by most outlets. And we're going to go over the, the things that they've covered. And then I want to point something out that I think is being missed that might be more important than any of the other coverage. So if you're not familiar with CPAC, this is a this is the conservatives conservative club is what it boils down to. These are Trump's people. This is his fan club. These are these are his his crew, right? Um, and so when this little group gets together, you see a bunch of conservatives really go mask off. And that's part of it. You have a whole bunch of articles about different things that different people said. Okay. Um, and those are interesting, no doubt. And then there's a group of articles about what Trump said, you know, his speech, which I'll go ahead and summarize it for you. Putin is smart. American leaders are dumb. Um, everything that's happening in Ukraine is Biden's fault. He completely forgot to mention that the first time Russian forces fired at Ukrainian forces directly were, happened under him and he didn't do anything. Um, and that the most dangerous people are, are within the country, not the person who he called smart, who just, you know, kind of threatened nuclear war. Um, that was basically his speech. Okay. And there are people, of course, tearing that apart, rightfully so. And then there's the, the predominant story is that Trump won the straw poll. Every time they get together, they have this little fake election, and they talk about who they want to be president. And big surprise, Trump's crew, his people, people who adore him, said that they wanted him to be president in 2024. 59%. Uh, next was DeSantis, and he was in the 20s somewhere. And that's the story, right? And those are the three things that are really being covered. But it, it, it's, it's the whole uh, thing with the straw poll that I think might need some more attention. Because people are chalking that up as a Trump win, because he did win the poll, but the thing is, they have this little meeting pretty often. The last one was just six or seven months ago. And at that one, Trump got 70%. And at this one, he got 59%. Trump has dropped 11 points among his people, his crew, his fan club, the people who should be backing him no matter what. He has dropped 11 points points. That seems like a bigger story. As much as people don't want to admit it, and this goes to both parties, there are people in the Republican Party, rank and file people, who really want to believe that Trump is still the heart of the Republican Party. And there are Democrats who want Trump to be the heart of the Republican Party because he's in, you know, easy opposition. Um, they already beat him once. They can do it again. And that's the way they're looking at it. But 59% in, in his circle, in his fan club, that means 41% of people who should be really behind him wanted somebody else. Trump is losing steam much faster than a lot of people want to admit. I think that's worth noting. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.